Libra, Libra, what do we have for you in the month of March in general? Oh, damn it. So they're a little bit verbal, throwing cards on the floor right away. <laughs> so they're saying that um, you're not being selfish at all, but you also might be a afraid that a little bit of what you're feeling in March is apathy, like you're not feeling deep enough. But they're like, you know what, things take time to grow, your enthusiasm takes time to build. That's okay. And sometimes slow is better. So you know, whether this is in regards to and you, you know, as um, as a general reading, you should take this wherever your mind went. So if you were thinking about, you know, I just met this person, and that's where it's resonating, go there. If it's about your new job or something, and it doesn't even have to be something new. But but my point is, wherever that clicked for you right away, that's where you want to take this, because we're talking in general terms in the month of March, okay? So generally in March, that's okay if things take time to build, you know? St slow and steady wins the race in the tortoise and the hare, okay? So you might be feeling a little bit hairish this month. But that's okay. That's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, um, what is your overall lesson or goal in the month of March in general? And it's about courage. And it's using, with this purple background, your third eye, your natural intuition. And so it's courage to find the, um, to, to face fear with confidence. But it's by, it's more like courage Trusting your own inner self, your own higher self, your spirit guides, your angels, whatever. Going with your gut, trusting your intuition, okay? Now, what are the um, things that can kind of help you through there? What's some guidance for you in order to become more courageous in the month of March? And it says, let yourself stand out and be noticed. You got to be this peacock here, okay? There are flashy, fancy things about you, and you have to show those to the world and then be very confident and brave in that because you shall be rewarded for it, okay? Now, what are the vibes that you're putting out in March in general that other people are picking up on? And maybe that's why you're having a hard time, you know, peacocking, is because you're afraid that you'll be judged. Perhaps that's what it is. But what kind of vibe are you putting out there? And they're saying that you're solid, that you're secure, that um, you follow through on agreements and contracts, that you pay your debts, that kind of a thing. You're, you're viewed as very responsible and organized and committed. So that's good. You, there's no reason to have that kind of fear here in the month of March. Now, in regards to finances or work, career, what are your general energies? And they're saying something's not quite right there. There's something that's not working for your highest good, and we got to figure out what that is. Now, they're saying but the challenge here is to walk away, though, from whatever that is. Once you've figured it out, once you've gotten really clear on whatever it is that has to change, the actual change is difficult. And like I was saying, you know, when we picked up on the general energy, so maybe that's where a lot of it's going to hit here for you is in finance work career, is that, oh my gosh, I have so much pressure in my head right now. So they want to tell me something. Sorry, I know that's weird. So we're all... We're all very psychic in our own way, and there's a lot of different clairs, right? Like there's claircognizance, clairaudience, all these things. And I don't usually, I mean, I do get clairaudient messages a lot, but not like this. This is really intense. Um, so it's an it's a very intense vibration on my left side, and what that indicates to me is that some of you are about to enter, or you have entered a very negative vibrational situation in regards to your finances, your work, your career, something like that. You're making a very bad decision that will have a domino effect on other areas in your life. So it's a, and this might not be for everybody. This might be a very specific message for one person, but you um, probably know what that is and you know who you are, if I'm talking directly to you, okay, and you need to, to move on from that. You have to. Because it will be a cascade of very, because I usually, when I get clear audience messages, they come in the form of songs or phrases, okay? And this was a very vibrate, it was like vibrational, okay? And it was strong, and I was asking about it, you know, spirit guides, whatever, and it wouldn't go away, and it just got more and more intense. Um, So this is very, very important for whoever that message is for, okay? So this could be the kind of situation where, um, maybe you're networking with people from work and one of these people is like a shady character and you're spending a lot of time with them and then somehow it destroys your reputation because, 
Um, you are assumed to be like this person because you associate with them. It could be something simple like that. It might not be like a new job opportunity that is bad. Um, I mean, it definitely could be. You could pick up some sort of side business thinking you're just going to, you know, sell a little bit of pot here and there. And then, you know, you're all of a sudden involved in a cartel and your whole family's murdered. <laughs> that would be a very extreme example. But I'm just saying it's something like that where it's like one little thing that doesn't seem so bad is the cascading domino effect for some very bad shit in your life. And you should be able to tell with that courageous instinctual information following your gut instincts when you're um, aligning yourself with something that's not for you. So that's I'm, I will get to the rest of the reading, but that's very important for somebody to know that is a very um, cascading domino effect that will wreak havoc on your life, so don't do it. Okay, now that I'm done yelling at you. <laughs> Sorry about it. Um, okay, so what are the challenges that the rest of you are going to face? And they're saying um, it's about new ideas and putting them to action with that slow, steady pace. And also if you're feeling a little bit apathetic, like we mentioned. And so um, something that will help you along the way in achieving the goals that you need to achieve is to kind of just sit back in the background, you know, blend in, be the chameleon, which is, it sounds a little bit um, antagonistic to this idea of stand out, you know, express who you are, you know, um, Show everybody the goodness inside of you and all those things, peacocking a little bit. But in this specific situation, it is a little bit different because the context of this card is saying you have to sit back and adapt to situations, watch the situations before you take action on them. And it's specifically important in career work and finance with that negative vibrational energy that creates a potential cascade. Don't make, um, this is why that concept of tortoise and the hare is so important. You need to be the tortoise. Slow and steady wins the race. Sit back, watch and see what's happening so you can come up with a better plan of action as opposed to jumping right in and fucking your whole life up. So basically they're like, now sit in the background, adapt to the situation, and don't attempt to direct the course of events because some of these events you cannot control. Okay, so sit back and watch and formulate your plan in regards to career, work, and finance. Okay, looking at your love life. Single Libras. What's up with you? Um, so this is cool, but it's also not cool. Because <laughs> what they're saying is, you know, enthusiasm, meeting new people, excitement, like all of these things, something that's fresh and fun. Um, but then also like this fear of, oh, shit, what am I getting myself into? Is this moving too fast? Is this the right thing for me? I'm afraid of being hurt, that kind of a thing. But here's what you need to understand is, okay, maybe you think you're protecting yourself by being afraid of getting hurt and things like that. But really you're not. You're just creating yourself more stress. Because if somebody's going to hurt you, they're going to hurt you regardless. Like your fear or your worry doesn't prevent it. So, so stop it. Knock it off. Stop it. Okay. Um, what are the challenges for you in the month of March in regards to your love life? And they're saying um, just being in the right place at the right time regarding the circumstances surrounding you. And that might be a little bit of, <laughs> of carryover from the work uh, finance thing, you know. So if you were one of those who didn't listen to the guidance, who didn't, um, who maybe went down that wrong path, your love life's going to suffer as a result. But if you weren't, you know, it's just about following that gut instinct, that intuition, having the courage to just like on a whim, go with your gut and be in the right place at the right time. You know, sometimes like you get this message like, Oh man, I should really go here right now. I don't know why I want to, but I just feel like I should. You should listen to that because sometimes that's your angels um, or your spirit guides, whatever you believe, your higher self pushing you into be in the right place at the right time to meet the right person that you would be excited about. Now, overall, in regards to your love life, what are you learning in March for single Libras? A more purple going with that gut instinct is so important. And I just want to show you this whole deck isn't purple, okay? All right, <laughs> look. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of purple, but there's blue, there's yellow, there's red, there's green, there's blue, there's green, there's yellow, there's orange, there's many other colors in this deck. So trusting your gut instincts, super important. You're having a hard time understanding that, um, you, yes, you might be 100% honest with other people and you realize and recognize that that's important, but you can't really hold other people to the same expectation of, um, complete you know, upfrontness and honesty, because maybe they haven't learned that for themselves yet. And so, you know, by accepting this, 
by coming into this lesson of acceptance, understanding that you can't change everything, um, you're going to be a lot better served. That's how you're going to release that stress. That's how you're going to prevent yourself from dragging around all this negative energy when you're living in your fear. Okay. Now, looking at those of you who are coupled, and don't worry, as the month progresses, we will do um, single and coupled love readings for YouTube as well. Those of you who are coupled, what do we expect in March in general? And they say that um, it's almost like you don't want to think about things, you don't want to make decisions, you don't want anything to move, shift, or change. And that's all right. Um, what are the challenges? To kind of recognize, okay... There are some shitty things in every relationship. There's always room for growth. But like, are they, are they toxic? Are they that shitty where, um, it has to change or I need to leave? Or is this fun? And so it's like, for Libras, a lot of you just seem to be like walking, teetering on this edge of like excitement and potential danger, but it's fun. And while you're feeling apathetic about a lot of other things, it's very tempting. Um, but, but it's, it's a tightrope. Okay, you could totally fall off and die, or you could make it across, and that would be exhilarating. It's an adrenaline rush, but um, try to be smart and take things slow as best as you can, and I think that's true, and that's why you're um, maybe not wanting to make decisions and things and think about things in your relationship, is because maybe April would be a better time for things like that. Now, I forgot to mention, for single Libras... Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out there to potential partners um, that you are a little bit guarded, that you are a little bit defensive, that you're not really sure that you're ready to receive love, which makes it hard for them to give it to you. Now, for those of you who are coupled, what kind of vibes are you putting out to your partner? And they're saying that, um, that you know, like this energy of like, okay, things need to change for the better and they need to happen quick, uh, but they don't necessarily see that it's coming from like this very deep emotional space. It's more like logical. And so to pour a little bit more emotion into um, your communication with your partner would be a very good thing for you. Now, in regards to your personal development for the month of March, Libras, what do we have? And they say, um, you know what it is that you, that, that you have to address. You do. You're just maybe feeling like you don't want to. But as the month progresses, maybe towards the end of the month, you know, with those slow and steady changes, you'll get there. Uh, what are your challenges? And they're saying the challenge is to decide, am I ready to heal? Or am I going to stay in, um, you know, this painful process? And it's not, and it's not like the pain is killing you. It's just annoying, right? And so kind of like what I talked about with our fears is it's like these little pokes, like it's almost like mosquito bites. Like it's annoying, but it's not going to kill you, right? It's painful for a second, but it's like, okay, am I going to release that and just kind of like live a lot more freely and happily and comfortably? Or am I going to, like, you know, walk around scratching all these memories because they're itchy, these little mosquito bite stings, and, and carry that with? 